Here's a demonstration of the racetrack. You see when the horse crosses the start line, these glowstone lamps start lighting up one right after another, kind of chasing after him. And then when he reaches the finish line, they'll stop lighting up. They'll be frozen in their current state. And you can tell by how many lit up, how fast the horse is. I've kind of marked off the fifth and tenth ones so that you can tell easily uh, how many were lit up. In this case, it was 25. And you can run multiple horses through here and determine which is fastest really easy. So the way that this works is very simple. Anybody can set this up. Hardest part is just going to be gathering all of these glowstones and repeaters. But once you have that, this won't be difficult to set up at all, even if you don't know much about redstone. Basically, the way it works, you have a tripwire at both the start and finish line. As soon as I hit this tripwire, this piston is going to push this redstone block into this row and start powering all of these glowstone lamps. Just like that. All this whole row is, is just glowstone lamps and repeaters alternating one right after the other. You can set the repeaters to whatever delay you like. Uh, I have mine set to 0.3 seconds, which is two right clicks. Then at the end, what we need to do when we cross the finish line is make the uh, glowstone lamp stop lighting up. So to do that, we have another piston and redstone block. And when I cross the finish line like that, it's going to push the redstone block to light up this circuit. This circuit, all it does is power these repeaters that lock all of the repeaters between the redstone lamps. That's why they have this black bar on them. So as long as this line of redstone is lit up like this, the glowstone lamps cannot change. They're either on or they're off. Whatever they were at, when the finish line is crossed is what they're going to stay at. Doesn't matter if power is cut to these or not, they're locked in place. The only other component is this reset button. All it does is have a piston that pushes the redstone block back to the original starting position, like that, which depowers uh, the glowstone lamp circuit. And it also has another line going all the way to the finish line where there is also a piston that pushes that redstone block at the finish line back to its starting position. And now you can see this uh, locking circuit here is no longer lit up. It's no longer powered. And there's no more black bars over the repeaters between the glowstone lamps. So I'll give this one more demonstration. Just get a good running start so you're up to full speed. And we can't see them now that the lamps are lighting up behind me. And now they stop. The circuit is locked in place. So this horse got a score of 22, which is a pretty fast score. If you're interested in breeding faster and faster horses, just keep testing them and keep breeding the fastest ones. I keep my fastest ones with the best stats in a stable here with their stats written on signs. makes it pretty easy to get up to about the fastest you can get within a pretty short amount of time. And that's all there is to it. Thanks. Bye.